Hi guys, welcome back. This is Jess and the crew. I'm Jessica. And if you're not new here, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe down below because we do a lot of cool stuff. I like travel and explore, but today it's more of an emergency. We're off to the hospital. Um, we need to go see a surgeon. So we thought we would uh, take you along with us. And I thought we would take you along with us to see day in the life of a mom of two who sometimes we are not very careful and we need to go see surgeons and take the day off work. I was working and I work at my children's school and I got a phone call in my classroom saying that Ashley was in the office and that I needed to go check up on her and that it was quite serious. So of course I'm in my classroom. I can't just leave students alone. So I had to wait for a supply teacher. So I'm a little worried that something is severely wrong. Um, and of course my principal came in, they found me a supply teacher. I had to take Ashley to the clinic and it was pretty urgent. Um, which is not typical. Ashley is a very clumsy, clumsy child. Which is typical, not untypical. Is it untypical? You're right. It's very typical. Ashley is a very clumsy child, so she falls a lot. She hits herself. She's already broken one wrist. She's had stitches in her head. Um, so when they told me she fell and that she hurt her wrist, to me, wasn't a super big emergency. But uh, we went to the clinic anyways. They scanned it. They told us it wasn't broken. Um, but she kept telling me all night, mom, it's broken, mom, it's broken. I know it's broken. And sure enough, we got a call from the clinic the very next day saying she did in fact break it her scaphoid half. bone right in half. So that is a very difficult bone to heal and that it was going to cause her some issues probably if it didn't heal properly. So we were then referred to a orthopedic surgeon so that's where we're off to today we're off to go see the surgeon we're gonna go see what he has to say we're hoping she doesn't have to be in a cast all summer but we are they gonna said, ask he said what they said it can be up to six months six, six months, months in a cast six months there goes the summer weeks so we're definitely gonna be asking for a waterproof cast if that's possible so she could at least swim this summer um, and hopefully no surgery that makes me super nervous, but, um, I love surgery. She's never had surgery, so I don't know why you would say that. No, I want to go do a surgery. Not on me, though. Oh. Someone else. Anyways, so we're off to the hospital. Let's go see what this surgeon has to say. Before any emergency, we must stop at Tim Hortons. Fuel. Yes, would I be able to get a large coffee with two creams, please? Okay. And that's it. Okay, sorry, just give me one second. I'm still checking on those bagels. It's 12.80, drive on up. Thank you. No problem. Our bellies are full because we ate, inhaled those bagels, didn't we? Uh, it hurts my stomach. I got my mom fuel. Uh, I got the hiccups. I'm ready to go wait in the hospital. All right, fracture clinic, here we come. Hopefully this won't take super long. Are you nervous? No, I'm a little nervous he's gonna say you need surgery. You're not? I can't throw box. Let's go, our appointment's in 30 minutes. Found it. So we were just at the fracture clinic and we were given this very handy pager. So I guess when this puppy goes off, it's our turn to go see the doctor. So right now we're just hanging out of the cafeteria. So we're at the gift shop because it is now 45 minutes past our appointment time and they still have not called us. So we're trying to waste some time. We're in another waiting room. It's now an hour past our appointment time. Good thing I took the full day off work. It's been 30 minutes. No, it's our appointment was at 11, Ashley. It was at 11.30. Yeah, but they told us to be here at 11. To register. Oh, You're going to be the one that's not going to have a lot of time to shop. <laughs> it's 
funny watching you do that with one hand. <laughs> there you go. An hour and a half and we're still waiting. Second snack break. Finally, we're buzzing. Finally. Get that sucker off. Get your hand up like that. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, good. So you just go back Feels to where weird, you eh? were, okay? <laughs> that, he ripped that off really quick. Let's take a look at your hand. Is it bruised now? Yeah, that means they have a wheelchair coming in. Do they? I'll just put a temporary thing on. Not really, eh? Okay. Oh, yeah, here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is this really unusual for somebody your age? <laughs> you don't want to hear that, do you? No. <laughs> but it's not the usual thing you see in, like, because you're young and your growth plates are still open. Yeah. That, those are your growth plates Yeah, here. they explained that to us at the other. Um... Yeah, so this is typically the weak link in the whole chain. And to break your scaphoid, this is your scaphoid, this little bone that looks like a peanut. And you can see there's a line right across there. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. So you, you definitely have broken this. And she broke her other one in her other hand two years ago. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, it's just not very common. Like, I, you don't really see this very often. And uh, I would have said it's next to impossible, but there you go. And there there you see it there. But the yeah. nice thing is the position's perfect. Okay. So um, all we have to do is basically put you in a cast. It has to include part of the thumb. Yeah, they put it. Yeah, so. Color was? Pink. Pink? Pink it is. Pink, pink it is. is. That is a bright pink. I yeah, like that bright. color. Mm. It is definitely bright. Yeah, though. that will be better because I won't have to re-tuck it in. No, it will be tucked <laughs> in. That person who did that. It'll be tucked in for good. <laughs> Believe me, I don't want any complaints. But <laughs> don't need yeah. the, enough to see here. Sorry. Sorry, my friend. Sorry. This is actually better. The other one was higher. So three hours later, we're done. Um, she has a new cast on. It's waterproof. It's pink, the color that she wanted. At least now if she really wants to, if it's a hot day, she can actually go swimming. Um, interesting <laughs> the specialist said that this is unusual break for a child that is not done um, a child who's not done growing because you have growth plates and typically that's the weak spot in your wrist and that's where kids will break their wrists however my daughter has broken the scapefoid bone which is in kind of her thumb hand area connected to the wrist and they typically see that in adults or older people <laughs> So Ashley has an old hand and has broken her scapefoid directly in half. He said it's a clean break. There's no displacement, so he doesn't first see it being an issue healing. But it is a bone that takes a very long time. So he said minimum probably eight weeks in the cast. So we have to come back six to eight weeks and get it re-x-rayed to see how that's doing. And yeah, so that was our adventure today. Now we're going shopping. And... Um, if you're not part of the crew, go subscribe down below and uh, we'll see what next emergency my children have that brings me back to the hospital. <laughs> Hopefully not anytime soon.